What's up boys Lemners and welcome back to another Fallout recipe episode of Geek Time. Today we're going to take a look at actually making some stim packs. Uh, so they're not going to look like this, this is just a prop. But we're going to make some alcoholic uh, stim packs. So what do you need for this recipe? You need to pick up some gelatin. So I've just got these little sachets. Um, you need to pick up some juice. I've got apple and raspberry, but you can use pomegranate juice or cranberry juice as well. Um, also some vodka, um, very important ingredient to make it alcoholic. Some red food coloring and some sugar. There is one more thing you need to pick up, but I'll come on to that a little bit later when we're finished all here. You also need some water. It says in the recipe book to put some water on the hob and, and boil some water there, but I've been a little bit lazy and I've just boiled the kettle. So first of all, we're gonna put all the ingredients in apart from the water and mix it all up and then we move on to the next step. So let's do it. With the gelatin, you need to get two tablespoons of gelatin. So these sachets are about a tablespoon each. So I'll show you that now. Um, so just rip that off. And I've got my tablespoon measure here. And next you need a quarter cup of juice. I haven't opened this yet. <laughs> there we go. Quarter cup of juice. Then you need a quarter cup of sugar. Now the recipe does say three quarters of vodka, but I've tried those and they're very, very strong. So I'm just gonna do half a cup of vodka. You can have flavored vodka as well, but I've just gone for plain old vodka. Pour that all in. And the final step, some food coloring. It says three drops, but a little more won't hurt. That's one drop, two drops, three drops, or more like splashes. Yeah, so just mix it all up together. Then, you need to get your boiling hot water. I need a cup of that, so I'm gonna go sort that out now and pour it in. Be very careful, because you could scald yourself, like I almost did the first time I did it. So, let's hope I don't do it again. Okay, so we got our one cup of boiling water. Just gonna pour that in. And then we mix until all the gelatin has dissolved. Now I've used just standard gelatin, so it's a beef uh, gelatin, so it's not vegetarian friendly. So if you do wanna make it veggie friendly, then just keep an eye out for some vegetarian friendly gelatin. Okay, so that is pretty much dissolved now in there. So I'm just gonna keep that spoon to the side. So the final step and your final thing you need to get hold of are some syringes. Um, so I um, bought some 50 mil syringes and they're way too big, okay? So I recommend getting some five mil syringes or 10 mil syringes um, and they will come in sealed little packs like that. Um, I've already opened uh, two um, and literally all you have to do is get a plate ready next to me. All I have to do is just pop a little nozzle in and draw it back. I'm going to put it up to about 40 mil. There we go. And there's your little syringe. I'm going to pop that on the plate next to me and do exactly the same. And this recipe will make about 400 mil, roughly. Um, so if you think about it, if you're using 10 mil syringes, that's 40. If you're using 5 mil, that's 80 little vodka jellies, pretty much. So you just keep on sucking it all up in your syringes until you haven't got any more and wait for that to cool down and then you pop it in the fridge so let's go pop these in the fridge there you go so they are in the fridge 
So we're just gonna wait now for about five hours. Oop. Okay, so let's go see if they're done. And here we have some awesome stim packs. Um, so yeah, they're uh, very strong, like I said, and these are a bit too big. What I'd like to be able to do, I'd like to do them in a 5mm or 10mm um, syringe. So then I can 3D print off some uh, of the tops and then put them on just to make it a little more like a stim pack. And then when you squirt them out, Oh, look at that. <laughs> so yeah, that is your vodka jelly stim packs. So I hope you liked this episode, guys. If you could give us a little like and a bit of a share as well, that'd be fantastic. We will be putting in the description all the different things you need and the method to do it as well. But it's easier just to watch as well, isn't it? So, till next time, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give us a little share if you're feeling generous. And check out these other videos.